Hello everybody, Pastor Dave here for our Monday Night Devotional. Thanks to everybody who came out for Jill's retirement party yesterday. She is so blessed and this is one of the highlights of her life. And tonight I wanted to just talk about what we can do to have a good life and talk about the biggest danger to our soul. So one thing you may have noticed about the calendar lately is this month is called Pride Month. It's kind of hard to miss. Every time I turn on one program on my computer, it comes up with a video advertisement, Celebrate Pride. And it seems like every media outlet and, and uh, every commercial is all about having pride. And, and just that idea of having pride in oneself is one of the central core values of our culture. The idea is that you have got to have pride in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. If you believe something, then it is true for you. And that is the only kind of truth there is. That relativistic truth that depends on what you think, as if you can change reality just by thinking it. And you, you, well, if you feel like it, you ought to do it because your feelings are par paramount and more important than anything else. Whatever you want to be, you can be, and you should be. That's the pride of our culture. And, and we celebrate that in so many different ways over so many different issues. The Bible talks about pride in a different way. It talks about pride as the biggest danger to our soul. That was the problem with the Pharisees. The Pharisees would have agreed with Jesus on most theological issues. But the problem was that they dealt with it in a prideful way where they separated out people between themselves and everybody else. Jesus dealt with this in Luke chapter 18, verse 9, it says, To some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man rather than the other went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So as we look at this story, we realize that the good, religious, well-behaved man stood in the synagogue and he prayed, and some translations say he prayed to himself. You can't interpret this sentence that way. God, I thank you. I'm not like all those other people who are sinners. And Jesus said he went home without being justified. But the scandalous, traitorous, cheating tax collector stood at a distance afraid to even look up to God he beat himself and said God have mercy on me a sinner and he was the one who went home justified that's how dangerous pride is friends if your religion makes you proud then you're not following true Christianity because Christianity teaches that you're a sinner and you need God's grace and if you've accepted his grace, you did it with humility, and you said, God, I don't deserve your favor. I just beg you for your grace. So you have to admit that you're a sinner to be a believer. The Pharisees and a lot of other people in this world divide people up into two categories. The people who are good enough and the people who aren't good enough. And usually, I consider myself to be in the good enough category. I think most people feel that way. But that's not the way the Bible divides us up. Because none of us is good enough. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So therefore, if you're going to divide people up into two categories, it's people who sin and admit it, and people who sin and ignore it. Or even celebrate it. Sin is what sets us off and cuts us off from God. 
And it takes humility to get on our knees and say, God, I'm not the way I should be. I repent before you. And that's why pride is so dangerous. Pride tells you that you're good enough. You should never kneel before God. You should never humble yourself. But Jesus said, those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Friends, let's kneel before God and say, God, I know I'm a sinner. Give me your grace. Remold me into what you want me to be. Help me to live a life that glorifies you instead of a life that cuts me off from you. And if we humble ourselves, then we'll be exalted by him. Let's pray. I thank you, Father, that you're willing to work with me, a sinner. I thank you, Lord, that you've given me a place in your kingdom only through the blood of Jesus. I don't deserve it. I testify before the world today I don't. I pray, Father, for every one of us to see sin for what it really is and see ourselves for our true nature. And may that lead to our humbling so that we can come to you in humility. In the name of Christ, we pray this. Amen. God bless you, friends. I love you. I want the best for you. And I pray that you are close to God and that you sense his moving in your life and that you give him your life. Have a good night.